Well, the media has been a flutter with rumors about the Royals, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle not getting along, whether it's true or not. The scenario does not compare to the palace death matches of centuries past. One such feud plays out on screen this weekend. Here's Raphael Seth with the box office preview. Do not play into their hands. Our hatred is precisely what they hope for. Sir Ronan plays a Game of Thrones in Mary, Queen of Scots. This one is based on Mary Stuart, the 16th century Queen of Scotland. She marries the King of France, but becomes widowed at the age of 18. So Mary returns to the British Isles to reclaim her throne, only to find English cousin Queen Elizabeth I, played by Margot Robbie, ain't having it. Mary, Queen of Scots, is rated R. All that matters is that you have an angle. Natalie Portman sings her swan song in Box Lux. She plays a pop star whose talents are discovered during a national tragedy, but her long path toward the spotlight is a jagged line dotted by scandal, struggle, and emotional volatility. Box Lux is rated R. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Hi, Mom. Lucas Hedges is a boy erased in Ben is Back. The Manchester by the Sea star plays a drug addict, returning home on Christmas Eve. The move catches mom Julia Roberts off guard, but she commits to keeping her son out of trouble, even if it destroys her marriage. Ben is back is rated R. They say you are good. Who says that? Everyone. A Steven Spielberg classic returns to theaters in Schindler's List. This Best Picture Oscar winner celebrates its 25th anniversary with a 4K restoration. It tells the story of a businessman looking to profit from World War II, but Liam Neeson instead becomes a guardian, saving more than a thousand Jews from the Holocaust. Schindler's List is in limited release. Uh, also out this week, straight out of Compton's Jason Mitchell in Tyrell.